We all ready? Yeah, I think so. I think I... so. Actually, hold up. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> now we're ready. Now we're ready. Oh, oh man, right. let's get it cracking. <laughs> just so I don't have to mute, just so I don't have to mute myself. Pop the bottles on a Monday. Let's go. Wow, wow. All right. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Is God podcast. This is the Demon Slayer Season 2 Weekly Review. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Shren. Hello. Next up, we have Ku. Hey, hey. We have Justin. Good evening. Next up, we have Taylor. Hello. And finally, we have Sasha. Yare, yare. Welcome back, sir. Turn. Good to see you, Thank sir. you, thank you. Good to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Good to be back. <laughs> Glad to have you. It's been a while since we got you here, and yeah. what better way to get you back from than Demon Slayer? Your favorite arc? Yes. Supposedly. Yes, as a manga reader, this is what I'm looking forward to the most. And I will say, it has been glorious. Almost as glorious as uh, as Maki, indeed. Runer. Wait, not okay. Maki. Is her name Ma- is it Makio? I got Maki yeah, and Tom Makio. mixed up. <laughs> and then, you know, it's all, it's all good. It's also we knew what you hey, meant. Hey, man, it's been, been a while. It's been a while. Yep, they're, you, they're, they're both, they're right. both well, glorious. We're all bad with names here, so it's all right. Agreed. Talking. So, so starting off this episode, so we had the kind of cliffhanger last week where we had uh, Makio, you know, being trapped by that one demon and uh, Inosuke knew something was up. Coming back from that, so um, we see Inosuke, he opens the door and... Boom, she's not there, hiding in the ceiling. So he technically he broke his own rule where he's not supposed to say anything. He just starts screaming everywhere and start punching this random guy trying to get the demon falling through the wall. Was, so. was anybody surprised? I mean, I, I figured no. whoever was going to break the rule first, it was going to be Inosuke. No, I had total faith in my man. Oh, did you? Okay. He had a mission. He had a mission. <laughs> That's right. He had one mission and he, well, actually, I guess two, but he failed. And I guess like the more, like the more important part too is, is, um, going to uh Zenitsu's house because then we find out that uh the owner of the, the house or the madam she basically died from uh one of the one of the demons there and she's she's the upper rank demon um mm-hmm. i don't remember her name is as oiran i don't i forgot like her other her first name Daki. 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 yeah <laughs> yeah i gotta know the name when you add it to the waifu oh, list yeah important <laughs> yep Dude, I thought I found my wife last episode. Move oh, over. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of town. Her. Your opinion on that, Koo. <laughs> the upper six don't mess around. Dude, she can wrap up Koo anytime. If it's coincidence. <laughs> yes, sir. Upper six? Hmm. Mm. Nice number there. <laughs> nice number. So is, my is she six. actually so is she number six? Or does it or does it just say upper rank like she's just in the top six, but we don't know? Uh upper six, isn't that just basically she's six? Yeah, in that's, general? What, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure she is the six. <laughs> okay. It's just upper, no, I get I get what you're saying yeah. or clarifying. Is yeah, like do they upper six, just all just... have the classification of upper six, yeah, but no, keep... they all have their numbers specifically oh, okay. in like the I thought maybe yes. so. I thought maybe they keep it hidden, you know, just say upper six. You don't know exactly which one, but you know, the you're in the top. The misdirect. The misdirect. I'm sorry. I can see it. I don't deserve to be here. <laughs> they did say nine was afraid of seven, but we won't talk about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nobody talks and about eight, man. Oh, we definitely God. don't talk about and eight. That's, that's why we're glad to have you back, sir. <laughs> yep. So got you. So I mean, that's a big part of this episode. Basically, just more of her backstory. We know that she was the one who came in and, and you know killed the madam. Like madam was suspicious of her, and we know this was like a mission by Muzan. And I guess like. This whole thing is just to lure in the Demon Slayer corpse, try to kill, basically kill, kill the Hashiras. And, and then, so we had like things going on in like Inosuke's house and Zenitsu's house. We don't have much going on for Tanjiro's house yet, so. <laughs> yeah, Tanjiro's yeah. just the number number one worker, you know, taking any task <laughs> and even pissing off the, the house mother like, with, <laughs> with how efficient he is. <laughs> even his floral arranging is 10 out of 10. That guy, he yeah. can do it all. That was impressive, actually. His, his uh, floral cutting. I'm like, wow. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that's the actual technique. I want to learn this, but I, I really don't. But <laughs> that attention to detail. Hey, yeah, exactly. Hey, put the time and effort, so yeah. you basically know how to do it. I think I can manage to cut the bottom of it, you know, like the stems. I yeah, think I can do that. A little diagonal. Yeah, nah, exactly. nah, 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 nah. No, you don't. Well, you have that ready voice. for us next week. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll have a floral arrangement ready. Like That'll be an right exam. Yeah. You, you need yeah, some but... green thumbs for that. I'll work on that. Yeah. But uh, uh yeah. dude, shout outs to shout outs to Zenitsu though, because like I mean, because 
he could sense like there was like a demon behind him. He could sense it was a strong demon. He didn't know it was upper six, but he could tell like he was, he was in some serious shit. Show no fear and just like mm-hmm. he knew he was fucked, but, but shout out to him. Well, Inosuke like, jumped right in to it as well, though. On his end, he just couldn't, you know, he was he was chasing the demon, just couldn't get her. Mm-hmm. And just yeah. Up, yeah, but I feel like, <laughs> but she get bystander. But, but it feels like the demon in Inosuke's house was like, it was just like a regular demon, whereas that in Zenitsu's house, it was the upper six. Oh, yeah, so yeah, she's like true. way stronger. And he's somehow survived too from like the, the backhand slap from her. Well, I'm sure she's probably. Yeah, more, more but, him. I'm, I'm sure like, you know, when she actually did that, that backhand punch slap thing, she probably was just assuming she was actually hitting one of the, you know, the girls of the. the yeah, building. an actual human, yeah. not a. Like, Afterwards. Demon slayer. Yeah, after Until, the fact, yeah, he, he realized he wasn't yeah. hurt or anything. Yeah. He's still like, like passed out though after that. So, I mean. I mean. Yeah, just goes to show <laughs> the power difference is definitely being felt. <laughs> Early too. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm actually shocked they ran into her like this early and like where mm. things were actually happening this fast. Like it was a three episodes in, and we're already getting yeah. like uh, the upper six. I mean, that just shows I mean, there's I, a lot I, of I, shit coming. Yeah, but I was going to mention too this episode. Like, like I mean, I like the pacing, like because like we got introduced to the setup, we had a change of location last time, and now like we're kind of like, getting into like a, a lot of the conflicts. So I really like this pacing. Like it's super exciting and like. And like it just keeps you hooked for the next week's episode. So, like yeah, third episode in, I'm I'm really like enjoying the yeah. season already. Does so this fast. season nope. feel even more cinematic? Like some yes. of the shots that they use are just like yes. Oh, definitely. Okay. They're, Thank they're you, flexing. Taylor. <laughs> yeah, that's like there was the pan from the exterior when the lady committed yes, suicide when they showed what I was her. Thinking of yeah, and then cool. even at the like end, there's the shot take. <laughs> yep, it it is amazing, and even when um. When he gets backfisted by the lady, like it cuts, you hear like that little drum beat, and it's like two days earlier or three days earlier, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. But man, I just I gotta give it up to Ufotable, right? <laughs> I, I have no idea how you pronounce her name, so we'll just go with that. that. Um, yeah, they take it. <laughs> holy moly! Like usually when I put on an anime, I'm like I'll watch it, and then for example, Platinum End oh. is an anime where I was like, oh man, this is nothing like Death Note because the quality isn't there. It, it just doesn't draw me in. Whereas with Demon Slayer, as soon as I press play, the vibrance of the colors, like just the smoothness of everything, it really feels like, man, it's just, it's like everything you would want out of an anime in terms of production value. So I, I, I love it. I love the cinematic value. It really immerses you. It helps you escape from, you know, a life with maybe a couple children and some <laughs> that have been sick lately and just, you know, <laughs> woes and oh, wow. stub you sound, toes. You sound like you speak of, uh, 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 of, uh, of experience. <laughs> oh no, not at all. I was just speaking hypothetical. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, okay. I'll, I'll, okay I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind when I'm in that situation. So, <laughs> yes, yes, please do. Like, thanks for you? saying that hypothetical. No worries. You know that's what they call me, Mister Hypothetical. <laughs> yes. Oh, I didn't know that. But also, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, yep. uh, also, shout out to you, Photo too, for the the 3D stuff when uh, Yosuke was chasing you on the house. Yes, yeah, I mean. Like- they have done a bunch of 3D stuff already in Demon Slayer, but this is another example. So it's way and it than... doesn't stick out in a bad way. Right. It, it's not like I love Golden Kamui, but it's not like the CGI <laughs> there, right? Where you're like, uh, I'll laugh yeah, at this <laughs> just to get through the rest low, of the show. That's a little standard. Right, it happened one time. Bring up, bring up the bear. One time. <laughs> I mean, at Listen, this point, one time, the, the bear's iconic. Yep. No, I'm just saying, like, one time's enough. But y- y- you know <laughs> yeah, what I mean. Especially like, what it happens in the first three episodes. That was the first episode, wasn't it? <laughs> But I think was. this this is part of the reason why I love Demon Slayer. And initially, I was hesitant on it because I was like, ah, just another shonen shmonen. Uh, you know, I lost my family. Boo, boo, wee, boo. It's like Disney's, right? Disney's movies, they always kill the main character's parents. You're like, all right, whatever, bro. Another sob story. But, <laughs> man, the production value, it, it is it is so good. Even the opening, I don't even remember what it's like. I, I was just like humming with it. I'm like, ah, man, nah, nah. <laughs> So from beginning to end i'd say you get the most value most bang for your buck with demon slayer oh definitely mm-hmm. do you feel sasha that they're doing like justice to the manga with you know the adaptation and everything so far you know obviously they're going balls to the wall from the animation oh. and everything but i feel like from a purely a content perspective like we're getting all the love and you know fine tunings that that we deserve absolutely oh uh, i think that's what i'm trying to say is it just captures the essence of when I sit down and I read a manga, there's so much that I visualize in my mind of how it should go. And then certain anime, you're like, oh, this didn't really go how I thought it would. With Demon Slayer, you're blown away because you never would have thought they could have taken it in that direction. So it just feels, it almost feels like you're in the anime yourself. 
Um, like I could picture myself in the world of Demon Slayer, how well it's done. Where I'm like, oh man, that that like just the quality of the sound, the way it hits you, and then the way things look. You're like, this is so defined that I can just crystallize this in my own mind and be like, yeah, I'm a character Demon Slayer too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I think they're doing a great job. And even the humor um, in the first two episodes, I was dying. I'm like, man, I remember the, this. One of the reasons why this arc is my favorite is because of the humor er, uh, early on. But mm-hmm. I was just like, oh, I forgot about half these things. I I, I, I was dying. I was dying. <laughs> so uh, I, I like the fact that Good. this episode was uh, a bit more serious, though, just to kind of give us something different. Um, yes. Yeah. Really, no, I, I couldn't I love agree the direction more. they're taking it in. I think hitting that sweet spot of, you know, action and and comedy is is really unique to demon slayer and with you know ufotable doing the great job that they're doing um it hits well and it's never too much of right. a thing which i think is really a key balance and a lot of shows sometimes don't really get that there's a that lot formula of them. right yeah there's a lot of them yeah there. right Book yeah you know i think there are few shows <laughs> in anime that just take you out of your own world and really let you explore the anime world. And for example, like Cowboy Bebop, because of the Netflix show and everything, I went back and revisited a couple of episodes. And one thing it does really well is it just immerses you into, hey, there's this galaxy and there's these different worlds that you have to go through and you're on these spaceships, but really it feels mm-hmm. like you're just like an average Joe Schmo. Um, so you're like, you get a feel for it. And I think Demon Slayer has really developed a feeling for it. Like as soon as I saw them show the uh, red light district it could have been like any other red light district or any other town it could have been very similar for example to season one when they get into the town and they're trying to find the demon who like takes i think like little girls or whatever it was mm-hmm. right and then he finds her like ribbon yeah oh, right. it could have been the exact the same the vibe Robert's right there <laughs> yes yes thank you but this feels entirely different. It feels like a whole different world you could even classify this as a different anime if you wanted to like oh so i like the fact that a lot of it is stereotypically shonen, but it's so different even in and of itself, which makes it stand apart. Like, obviously, we didn't see Tang in this episode, but my God, I, I love the fact that we finally get a hilarious, sarcastic Hashira because all the other ones are like, I'm a scientist and I'm really nice. Or I hate you. You are not worthy <laughs> of us and your demon sister. This guy's just like, yo, I got three wives. Y'all better listen up to me, baby. And I'm like, yes, yes, I would listen to you in real life. Yeah, he's definitely very uh, Jiraiya esque, you know. Yeah, Jiraiya. that's actually a good comparison. It's actually uh, hair he up keeps... or hair down. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. I don't know. It depends. Does he have the diamond encrusted jewelry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with hair up just because that diamond encrusted jewelry okay, is. Just uh, checking. Just checking. Is, he's, got that, the, he's got the bedazzler on lock. He yeah, the bedazzler. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hair down is good. It's good. But, you know, uh, it, it, it's. It's slightly expected, so hair oh, okay. up right. for sure. True, true. Mm-hmm. That, that's husbando material. Very true. Very true. <laughs> no, I think if anything, I, I definitely see why uh, Tengen is your your favorite Hashira. I think you know, if we threw you into the Demon Slayer world, you'd be somewhat <laughs> of a very similar, you know, perspective. And just in the flamboyancy of his style, uh, we were talking about last episode, the fact you know when they're first walking through the red light district and everything, you think there would be you know some level of subtlety because you're there kind of trying to infiltrate the demons, and then you literally got Tengen walking around with you know destroy written on his back, <laughs> both his blades is out you know for the oh, world to see. And it's like, yo man, like. For a guy that's a ninja and trying to be inconspicuous, like, you're just a fucking walking billboard here. Like, it could be the opposite. But maybe, you know, that's one well, of the things. Of, he's such a badass that he doesn't even care. He wants them to come to him. To play the devil's advocate, at a red light district, you're probably going to get weirdos like that anyways. I just assume, like, oh, them drinking a bunch of sake. It, it's like going to an anime convention. You're going to see a ton of people <laughs> dressed normally, and then you're going to see those people who are like, bro, <laughs> you, you would have looked better if you just put toilet paper over your face. <laughs> so, wow. It, it, it is one of those things. you never see an anime convention being compared to a red light district, but okay, sir. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, you're going to get true. different characters yeah. there, so... You haven't been going to the right anime conventions, David. Yeah, the wrong one. <laughs> no, no, apparently no. not. That's not to me. No. The, no the ones in Shakopee, Minnesota. <laughs> they doing them right. <laughs> they leave and be shocked. <laughs> oh, God. Um, and then I just, I'm going to ask Trent and Koo because we're you know, the anime only. Because at the end, we had Zenitsu. Mm. You know, they had that yes. last uh, last second where he's got to get taken away by that by um the 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 upper six demons so do you think is this a situation he gets himself in or does he have to get saved by tanjiro and Inosuke? 
I feel like he'll get out of it somehow. He's always getting out of his own predicaments in a sense. Because um, the last thing I think of is when he counted the the spider in the forest. Because mm-hmm. he was able to get yeah. out of it on his own. But I mean, like Mugen Train, like, he didn't really, I don't feel, like, he didn't really get to do much because he was like trapped in a dream. And then, like you said, like the, the the spider part was like felt like it was a while ago. So Let, let's get one straight, one thing straight though. Zenitsu had everything under control, right? He never needed help. <laughs> this <laughs> man he, was living his life. He did not. <laughs> I was gonna say that was a damn good dream. He chose to be yeah. in that dream, the Kuzma. That Dude, was no, okay. you know. And like he, even he was his own guardian. You remember when they finally got close to his core? This dude was like clock tower, giant scissors, like chasing the guy who was like, he had his own back, bro. This guy is capable of taking care of himself. All know? right, point taken, sir. Yeah, I mean, so, I basically was gonna say the same stuff as Ku because the the whole thing is when he's unconscious as well. It seems like that's where he's his strongest. So I would uh-huh. assume that you know I hope we get in some sort of predicament situation where again he can. I think he'll usually get himself up. Right. I mean, I mean, again, too. This episode, we saw like he, you know, when when push up shove and he has to actually protect someone, he will like he mm. he will do it even though he's afraid. So well, I also, I also think she's yeah. gonna she's gonna think less of this guy just because I mean, she already said like this guy's definitely not a hot show. So he's yeah. she's already just gonna not be he's gonna kind use of, like, it, using it as bait uh, or attempt to either that or basically try to get information yeah. out of him something and then just kind of uh, let let her guard down in a sense. Then yeah, you know, unconscious then into we'll get out of it. Yeah, I'd say so. I think so. And like then, that. and then, I don't know, like I just think that with most most of the the other tropes of cowards is that they're at least able to fend for themselves. So I, I think he'll be fine, right? Mm. And then he was able. To, mm. I'm I'm pretty sure, like yeah, the uh, the the woman didn't intend to fully use her full power on him when he got backhanded, but even still, like he took a pretty big beating, and he's he seems to be yeah. fine. So yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking too. So. Yeah. Yeah, even you know, even though I've read the manga, I was half expecting for the camera to pan over his body unconscious, and then you just see the breath yep. come out of his nostrils, <laughs> and electricity starts sparking around him. And I was like, "Oh man!" And then it happened. I was like, "Oh wait, okay." <laughs> the <bait. laughs> Disappointment. Yeah, I, I also just feel like it's going to be too early for them to all kind of come together. Even though I, I would have said like this, you know, the, the them running into the for six, I would have assumed that that was going to be too too early as well but so i could be wrong mm-hmm. yeah i was gonna say, I'm, actually, I'm actually surprised that uh inosuke didn't like go right away to tengen because this is like the first time we've seen something was up so i figured that like, he would try to like get that information around but mm-hmm. supposed to be undercover we'll though see. you know as a, as a female i guess i guess i don't know how much time has passed <laughs> so i'm assuming like whenever he can slip away he would like hit order to tengen was or it? write him on the letter i don't know I don't. I don't know how much more longer he's going to be able to keep undercover. Know, right? after literally, you know, <laughs> obliterating too, a crater yeah. into the side of the building, and then when the uh, house yeah. mother walks in, he's doing like a scorpion pose, <laughs> like <laughs> trying to concentrate himself. And dude, like, dude. That's, our, that's our next workout. What is wrong with this girl? Like that's our next Break workout, dancing. guys. Yeah. Oh, dude, that thing would snap my back. It'd be game over. <laughs> I, I thought though he he could have like a he had those like animal abil- abilities where he could like sense kind of where people are or uh, his surroundings mm-hmm. and stuff. But I'm assuming it probably was getting blocked. Her senses were getting blocked just because. Of the kimono, because I—I mean, now that I'm talking about it, the guy walks around shirtless, so I'm, I'm assuming then that has something to do with yeah. it. So, it is just a walk around yeah. and the red light. Yeah, history. I was about to say. I think it's his environment as well. Yeah. Oh, that too. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's true. And then we did get kind of the inkling that Tanjiro, you know, now smells something uh murky or whatever word he used to describe it. So he'll <laughs> probably murky. be doing his uh his i was gonna say musty originally but i was like no it's not the <laughs> word that's a little, uh, that's a little, yeah if doc you didn't wear deodorant yeah exactly yeah so <laughs> if anything she i'm sure he'll her. be uh i go out where you can say sasha <laughs> lift up her arms <laughs> just has tons of hair grown out yeah, of man, i don't know what the deodorant you know game was like back in that era so there was a little, little, little stinky yeah exactly. well, michael jackson doesn't provide them with axe body spray <laughs> yeah that's, that's not on the key list the one thing i will say though for doc Aki is, you know, in that scene between Muzan and them, he was, you know, um, mm. commending her for how many Hashiras she's killed. It's crazy. To this point, I think it was like six or seven or some higher think, number that, yeah. at, least, at least to my memory, we haven't really heard any other of these, you know, demons have kind of that level of body count. So right. it'll be interesting to see how truly formidable of a foe she really is. Yeah. But, but since she's like, she's, I mean, she's, she says, they said she's upper six, so she's technically like one of the weaker even like generals, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, so it only yeah, gets so stronger. I'm wondering well, if we're going to use that opportunity. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, yeah, number three was super strong, yep. cause, and he killed off, he killed off Reng Rengoku, so I wonder if they're using this opportunity to get a weaker demon, that to make, that to, you know, do Tanjiro's character development, make him, like, finish her off, make mm -hmm. it more likely that he'd be able to finish off, like, an upper six. That's all I had for today, so, I guess... Uh, last question well, here. Oh, go ahead. Who would you let Daki wrap you up in her ribbons? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <it's just laughs> you already know. Yeah. That's all we ever needed. Everything we said was up to this point. Yeah, this it, was all, it was all the lead up. This is what we really wanted to talk yeah. about. Like I said, so, in, in episode two or whatever, or the last episode when we saw like uh, one of uh, one of the wives, I was like, damn, mm -hmm. she's pretty hot, right? Like, I don't know, maybe I woke something up inside of me. But then you saw <laughs> Daki in her true form. I was like, damn. Yeah. Mm. Interesting outfit. <laughs> this, this arc, this, this arc, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, I think I'm looking for different reasons. The less clothes, the more powerful. That's all Daki's showing. She's in that Cooler. skin tight glasses singlet. seem to be fogging up. <laughs> yeah, hold on. A little, bit, a little bit of a nosebleed for me there. What's the, there what we got going now? Yeah, you guys have no idea. When I was watching it, oof, things are happening, man. Yeah. I was a changed man. I had to run it back a little bit, oh. do a double take. I Dude, hear you. Dude, Tadpo's breathing technique. Yeah. <laughs> First form, you know, you'd Kleenex be, style. Yeah. Pull that up on the big screen, do a little full screen, enhance, you know. <laughs> Dude, I think I mastered total concentration breathing just in that one episode alone. You know, you know, I, I need to be ready for this encounter, you know? That's what's up. I think there's another word that ends with shun that you should be using there for total. <laughs> but right. we won't talk about that. Mm. Right, right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I, mean, uh, I mean, like, in all seriousness, though, like, I, you know, I definitely like her character design. I think she's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know, interested to see where this goes because, you know, I guess <laughs> with... I guess with everything that's happening, this might be a pretty strong and popular character. Actually, we know the one that likes her, right? No, so. she's gonna, you're, she's you're gonna totally I'm with like, you. Hey, it's not I'm about her looks. Here. It's about you know she's a nice person. Yeah, she's I strong, she's independent, a nice person. independent, you know, woman that don't need no man. Yeah, but goddamn, she's hot as hell. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm 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 head over heels, so I'm, I'm very biased at this point. So, <laughs> oh, just you wait when she, uh... I guess you could say you would put your ship in her docky. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'll let that one pass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Taylor, you got Roll my the back outro. there. Roll the outro. <laughs> David, what are you looking at? Another screen? What's going on, bro? <laughs> Oh, He's disappointed all of us. Oh. A disappointment. I can feel it from here. Good to have you uh, back. Yes. Man. Good to have you back. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> okay, now I think it's going to be a good place to end. So mm -hmm. I'm going to wrap it up here. So. I got nothing else. Thanks, guys. Hey, Thanks, guys. wrap Enjoy it up. Me. Get it? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So let's fight, fight, that last, let's fight that last comment. I really appreciate you, Sasha, being here. Glad to have you back. <laughs> good to have you. Thanks, guys. Good to be back. <laughs> Again, thank, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks everyone who commented in the videos or in Discord. Always appreciate it. We'll be back next time. Bye. Later. Bye. 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 Adios.